in the Guiani district, close to the border of Kruger National Park in South Africa, veterinarians are monitoring an outbreak of foot and mouth disease, often referred to as FMD. It is believed that buffaloes from the Kruger National Park that escaped from the park through fences broken by elephants were responsible for the outbreak of the disease. FMD is transmitted from buffaloes to cattle when the two species intermingle or come into close contact. FMD is one of the most important contagious diseases of cattle and other cloven-hoofed livestock and wildlife, and therefore every attempt should be made to diagnose and control this high-impact disease. Outbreaks have a major impact on trade in animals and animal products nationally and internationally. It is, in fact, one of the most impenetrable non-tariff trade barriers in world trade. And for this reason, countries attempt to maintain a foot and mouth disease free status at all costs. The African buffalo is the major reservoir of the SAT 1, 2 and 3 serotypes of FMD virus in much of sub-Saharan Africa. The SAT FMD viruses are uniquely adapted to long-term survival in free-living African buffalo populations. Under natural conditions, infected buffaloes do not show clinical signs of disease. They harbor the virus in their soft palate, pharynx and proximal esophagus and can be lifelong carriers. The infection is maintained in herds of buffaloes in parks in Africa, such as the Kruger National Park. For this reason, every attempt is made to prevent contact between infected buffaloes and cattle to prevent transmission of the disease. Fencing plays a very important role in controlling the disease, and damage to these fences can result in devastating consequences to neighboring subsistence and commercial farmers. Affected animals show various degrees of salivation because of the mouth lesions, signs of discomfort when eating, fever, loss of weight, and limping in one or more legs. Very few animals die of the disease. We already have a huge one here, so I can see that this area is a healing area. So. When the disease occurs in dairy cattle, there is a marked decline in milk production due to mastitis and loss of weight in animals not eating well because of the presence of lesions in the mouth. In cattle suffering from FMD, erosive to ulcerative lesions are usually present in the mouth, particularly at the tip and or on the dorsal surface of the tongue, inside of the lips, buccal cavity and hard palate and the interdigital skin and coronary band of the hooves. Skin lesions can also occur on other areas of friction, such as on the teats of lactating cows. Oral cavity lesions usually heal rapidly and may disappear within three weeks after infection. As usual, you get lesions on the sides of the tongue, on some drop. So this one is right at the back. This is a healing lesion, you yeah. can see it's busy recovering. Uh, there's no papilla here, here at the back. Yeah. Although certain wildlife species, such as warthogs, impalas and kudus, may exhibit clinical signs and develop lesions of foot and mouth disease, no clinical signs are seen in free-ranging buffaloes. Young buffaloes play an important role in the spread of the disease among the buffaloes in a herd, as well as to cattle, as they excrete large amounts of virus during the acute stage of the infection following their initial infection. Buffalo calves are born free of FMD, but become susceptible to infection which they acquire from the permanently infected carrier adults as soon as their maternally acquired immunity declines at four to six months of age. 
Control or eradication of FMD in livestock includes rapid diagnosis and response, active surveillance, regular vaccination where applicable, movement control of infected animals and their products, quarantine and vaccination and or stamping out in the event of an outbreak. In FMD outbreaks, epithelium of the necrotic or vesicular mouth lesions is collected on ice or in transport medium for submission to a laboratory to confirm the diagnosis. Because of the notorious ability of FMD to spread rapidly, it is important to apply a range of biosecurity measures to prevent the virus from spreading from an infected property. These include disinfection of gumboots, protective clothing of investigating officers and veterinarians, other utensils and vehicles. In South Africa, there are particular control measures to ensure that FMD does not spread from persistently infected buffaloes to livestock. In addition to regular vaccination of cattle surrounding the Kruger National Park, there are strict movement control measures of infected buffaloes and their products, such as meat. In buffaloes, FMD virus undergoes constant mutations giving rise to new variants that may not be contained in the available commercial vaccines. To ensure that vaccines protect domestic animals against the viruses circulating in the field, it is necessary to conduct ongoing surveillance to detect new variants or topotypes and to include them in the vaccine. To isolate new variants from carrier buffaloes, a probat a cup-like instrument with sharp edges is passed through the mouth into the oropharynx where the virus is maintained in the lining epithelium. After collection, tissue is preserved in a special transport medium and submitted to an appropriate laboratory for isolation and confirmation of the presence of the FMD virus and for typing. <laughs>